previously I looked at G.I. Joe Order of Battle number one. This is number two, the second issue in a four-part miniseries, the official G.I. Joe handbook. With Snake Eyes and Scarlet on the cover, and a surprise Joe on the inside that you don't have. It's Rocky! Rocky Balboa is a member of G.I. Joe. Or at least he was until he was retracted in issue number three. For all I know, this issue was pulled from the shelves. I, I have no idea how Rocky ended up as a member of G.I. Joe. Considering we all know he was a Russian spy. What, haven't you seen the super secret Laserdisc special edition of Rocky IV? Well, at least he gets to live next to Scarlet. Published in January 1987 by Marvel Comics, this covers Joe's Mercer all the way through to Zap and In Memoriam. Like the other issues in the series, we get some biographical information about each of the G.I. Joe heroes, as well as a nice picture. And as I turn the page, we've got two of my favorites here, back-to-back -back Roadblock and Rock and Roll. Who could fill an entire convoy of Cobra soldiers full of lead while also teaching you about household safety, wearing bicycle helmets, and being nice to your sister. You know, kids, the M60 will take a Cobra soldier's head clean off. By the way, don't play with matches. Here we've got Sergeant Slaughter, who, unlike Rocky, is not a communist spy. He's G.I. Joe's drill instructor and a real American badass. We also just got a glimpse of Sci-Fi, who was actually a really cool G.I. Joe figure. Although he made no sense. Like, who would wear bright neon green in, into, like, the jungle? Here I am! Shoot me! Here's Snake Eyes, pretty much everybody's favorite G.I. Joe, and he was twice as awesome in the comic books as he was in the cartoon. Snake Eyes is legit. In fact, I think we should stop teaching children about Santa Claus and instead replace that image with Snake Eyes, delivering presents while also machine gunning Cobra with an Uzi. Now, as a Pittsburgh native, I find this guy hysterical. It's Steeler, one letter short of a lawsuit. Ralph Pulaski, which is the most generic Pittsburgh name you could come up with. Where's Ralph? Drinking Danikuskis. Whether you're into the G.I. Joe comic books, the action figures, the old school cartoon, or the new cartoon where they fight Cobra La, this is a comic book series you want to have. Although it's been a while since I've read my G.I. Joe comics, so I'm really drawing a blank on Bongo the Balloon Bear. Incentive to read them all again, I think. It's G.I. Joe Order of Battle number two. I'll see you back here in number three with a look at Cobra.